Sparrow Madeline. I offer spiritual guidance and knowledge. But how'd you know my name? She knew about all the stuff that happened in Collinswood. How do I get out of here? Stay where I can see you! Rebecca! Well, I actually made some uh, Super 8 films back in high school. Uh, then I went to film school, so when I moved out to LA from New York, I uh, started working in the art department on some feature films at Paramount. I held auditions for the Connorswood story. I had some of the actors do an improv for me, and then also read directly right from the script. I was really impressed with Stephanie D's. There's, um, there's just some Very natural, very realistic, and that's exactly what I was looking for in Rebecca, so I thought she did an incredible job. He had me do an improvised scene, which mm -hmm. somehow I got off tangent and what started about a dream that I had, and I think he really loved it, and that's what kind of secured me the role. What they did find, according to the psychic, was this old toy, a uh, Halloween shaker or something like that. And of course I had Johnny Burton as Johnny, who did a great job. Uh, Grant Edmonds as Billy. What do you think you got her that video phone? So you can stalk her online. Very funny guy. You've got some kind of background in horror. You were uh, one of the little geysers in Halloween 4, right? I was. I was about nine years old, mm -hmm. and um, I'm dressed up like a little penguin. Um, <laughs> and I'm very mean to the lead mm -hmm. girl in it. Mm -hmm. So I chase her down the hall screaming, mm -hmm. boogeyman, boogeyman. <laughs> Jamie's <laughs> uncle's a boogeyman. <laughs> Actually, when I was in the library in Collingswood, New Jersey, I came across this book. Hmm, look at this. Collingswood story. And in it, it did describe in the 1800s there was a house on Lee's Lane that was the scene of these horrific murders in the arson. So the story is actually based on, uh, on events that really did happen. I wrote the story right when webcams were just being introduced into society. And I thought it'd be really interesting to combine technology with a horror film. So I thought, well, what if, what if the entire film is through the view of each, of each character's webcam? And I just, I, I love that idea. Of course, I would be very limited with, uh, you know, because it's not a traditional film. You know, you have um, overhead shots, you have steady cam shots, and uh, I couldn't use any of that. So it was a huge challenge. How, were, how did Mike manage to get this frightened, terrified performance out of you when you're, you're not actually seeing anything horrible? There was actually 